standards Gabriel Kudaka NTV let's let's now uh, bring you more on that story about Amina Issa the Mamalusi Kibaki Hospital Management Board has been disbanded after a video showing Amina, a mother, forced to give birth outside the gates of the maternity ward surfaced online. The disbandment of the board by Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja was based on grounds of negligence by the hospital. But incidentally, the family of the victim, who say they regularly visit the facility, has called for a larger discussion to be held over embers of staff being overstretched and overwhelmed. Ngina Kirori has more. The hysterical sounds of a woman in labor sprawled on the ground stunned the crowd that had formed around her on Saturday at 7.20 p.m. Her barrier being the gate leading to the maternity ward, which was inaccessible. Sadly, however, this is not an unfamiliar scene. This video taken outside a different hospital, Pumwani Maternity Hospital, showed a similar scene of a woman who was forced to give birth outside on the hot ground after she was denied admission owing to a nurse's strike at the time. The two incidents paint the glaring picture of the lack of the country's ability to provide best practices relating to maternal and newborn health care. The family of the victim have incidentally not placed blame on the hospital over the incident, but are instead calling out the insufficient number of health care workers, which has slowed efficiency. <laughs> They add that on the night of the incident, the gate was locked for security purposes as one of the measures by the hospital, but misfortune caught up to their kin, adding that they had been informed by the doctors that the baby had passed on inside her uterus two days prior, necessitating another appointment being booked for her to give birth to the stillborn child. However, the Nairobi County government is taking no prisoners. In a press release, Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja has disbanded the former board of management. In the changes, the new board will be headed by Dorcas Kemunto, who has been appointed the chairperson with Dr. Bernard Gituma as the board secretary and medical superintendent. Dr. Mutio, the former medical superintendent, has been posted to Pumani Maternity Hospital as a specialist. Other members of the board include Christopher Githinji, who is the area member of County Assembly, Susan Wanjiro Kamau, Yvonne Peris Alera, Ronald Ngala Onyango, and Frida Wamboinduati. The move by the county is supported by past incidents committed by the hospital, showing lack of care in delivering services. The Nairobi County government says more needs to be done to rehabilitate both the quality of care and infrastructure at Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital, including the handover of the Mama Margaret Uhuru Hospital, which will ease the burden on Mama Lucy. The process of recruiting a substantive CEO for the hospital is also ongoing. Gena Kirari, NTV. Absolutely heartbreaking.